I'm actually at the Cardinal townhomes right now. It is immediately across the street from campus. So this is incredibly close. And you guys take a look at this. Can you see all this trash? This was a massive party that the sheriff said the shooting happened at. Lots of people, lots of trash left over. I'm actually standing with the sheriff right now. This is Sheriff William uh, Fetterspiel from the Saginaw County Sheriff's Office. It, it, tell us how this all began. Well, about 1.51 a.m., we had a deputy in the complex, marked unit with a uniform. I uh, he heard the party going on. There were nearly a 1,000 people here. He heard the gunshots, drove around to the back. People started dispersing, running. They were afraid. I mean, what chaos. Uh, just looking at what's left here of this land and 1,000 people, that had to have been a madhouse. It was, and, uh, you know, 16 shell casings were found, so 16 bullets were fired. Uh, five people were struck. They were uh, thankfully all treated and released from local hospitals. We had no fatalities, but it's very scary. And uh, none of the uh, injured were from the university. They weren't students. Okay. Is there any reason to believe that the shooter was a student or had a specific target in mind? Well, we don't know the motivation. We have not identified the suspect this is time. The only thing we know about the suspect is that he's a black male, early 20s, has dreadlocks with a... Um, a tint of blonde or orange at the tips. Okay, what kind of bullet casings did you find? What kind of weapon did he have? Uh, we've sent those off to the lab to be identified, but it appears to be a nine millimeter handgun. Okay, and as of now, nobody, none of the witnesses knew who he was or recognized him? Not at this point. Uh, we've interviewed quite a few people. We're interviewing more, and uh, we're down at the hospital right now with a couple more people. So we hope to have more, but we're asking people to call with information. So as of now, you've got a shooter on the loose. Is the campus still on lockdown? No, the campus is not on lockdown. As a matter of fact, they've opened up a hotline for parents who may have heard about this or will hear about this and want information. So there's a number that people can call and uh, ask for information. But uh, again, there were no students that were injured in this incident, which is a great thing. And the five people who were injured have been treated at the hospital and released. Really good news. Still looking for that suspect. Uh, what an incredibly scary call to get, though. A shooting so close to campus, right across the street. This is car called the Cardinal Townhomes, not owned by the university, but these are Cardinals, right? That's right. the university mascot. So it's definitely a really, must have been a scary call. It was, you know, and to have the deputy here with that many people and uh, having heard the gunshots, I'm just grateful that my deputy is safe. Uh, but it was it was mayhem for him when he was here by himself. And, of course, we had a lot of help from other agencies, and we're very grateful to them. Absolutely. One man versus a thousand. Well, definitely happy that he's okay and that the five people, once again, who were injured by gunshots are uh, have been treated at the hospital and now released so the five people injured are okay they're at home continuing to recover that's really good news that one suspect is still on the loose if you see him a black male early 20s dreadlocks with frosted blonde or orange tips definitely call police we have a hotline number do you know it by heart by any chance i know i have it written down here uh somewhere oh yep there it is okay uh, 989 989-964-4348 is the SVSU student hotline, 964-4348 uh, with a 989 area code. Okay, fantastic. If you are a parent or you have a loved one who goes to school here and you want to call and just make sure that they're okay, you can call that hotline right there. And if you have any information, please contact police. I'm reporting live here in Saginaw. Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.